Hey guys, and welcome to our very last Kids Church Mobile. Oh, I just, sorry, allergies, allergies. It's all the pollen in the air. I know. Oh. Yeah, this is our last Kids Church Mobile, guys, but you guys want to know the coolest thing ever? Just in time to restart regular Kids Church, we are able to finish the entire Action Bible today. Dun -dun. Oh, yes. It is our last, we, look at that, guys. We have finished the entire Action Bible since Corona hit. So the cool thing about Corona is that it got us the whole Bible read online. And that is so amazing I and know, awesome. I know, it sure is. Because we probably, you probably wouldn't have been doing this, right? No, Michelle? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have had the time to do it. <laughs> and I wouldn't have been doing this, that's for sure. Yeah, so I mean, it's actually really cool that Corona has actually given us an opportunity to get the Word of God online. For everyone to listen to over and over and that is so cool mm -hmm. so cool mm -hmm. speaking of people listening to it i have here our drawing today for the people who've been watching over the month and texting me we actually have a lot of views but not a lot of people that actually text in this month for whatever reason but that's huh. okay because that means that the ones who did text in have a better chance of winning mm -hmm. we're gonna do the drawing at the end Whoa. oops, oops. Yeah, I just saw that one, but I won't tell you who it was because it's not the drawing. <laughs> so at the end, we're going to be drawing a name uh, for... Why don't you show them some of our stuff we have? Okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, we'll save that for the very end, but trust me, you want to see it. We have everything together this week, okay. and it's awesome. It's a big... It's kind of a bulky, it's, big pack. Today. It is. It is a good pack. And you know what, Michelle? It is. I'm kind of re reminiscing because, by the way, if you guys are just like tuning in... If you go to YouTube under Sacred Fire Kids uh -huh. Church, you will see Miss Shannon in all of her lessons. I think you got like 65 or so, right? I don't even know how many it took, but yeah. it's a lot. Yes, yes. And then I kind of plugged in a few times. So if you wanted to go back and uh -huh. view those, you can start from scratch at any time or pick it up. Yeah. And bring your friends or mm -hmm. other people you live with, adults too. Yeah. And um, I'm kind of reminiscent about some of the fun things that you and I did together. I loved it when Julie joined me. We had just so much fun together. We did. We did. Do you remember when um, we were talking about how is it that whenever we are posted on a video that our worst pictures would come up as a lead in like the title and then our pictures and those we remember we called them thumbnails. Yeah. And um, so we would be talking and then all of a sudden we were doing a lesson and we would be like freeze. <laughs> yeah, and they would catch us in our most awkward moments. I know, really. That was so, fun. That I was know, a fun game. exactly. So we had a lot of fun with that. And, you know, we try and always bring those stories into the Bible lesson. And you want to share what we learned about that one? Well, you know, I, I think about that thumbnail thing. And how many of you guys have ever had somebody, like, tag you in a picture on Facebook? And you're just like, and you're like, why would you tag me in that picture? Nobody wants our own website or our own Facebook, whatever, Instagram, whatever, to show our worst pictures. That's we, right. We always do our best to try to make sure. That we're looking good, right? No, yeah, not that really. smile. <laughs> but you know what? What's kind of cool about it is that Jesus sees us at our worst and at our best, and he loves us anyway. That's right. And nobody really wants to be remembered for the biggest mistake they ever made in their life. That's right. Nobody wants to be remembered for their worst. That's right. And the cool thing is sometimes people do that, but God doesn't. He forgives, and mm -hmm. he chooses. He says, as far as the east is, wait, as far as the east is from the west, I had to make sure I was pointing the right way. As far as the east is from the west, he goes, that's how far I throw your sins away. away and I yes. choose not to remember them anymore. Amen. And so it's so cool. I know. I Pretty love cool. that. I love that. And then one of my favorites was Spot the Difference. You remember oh, yeah. Spot the Difference? Spot the Difference. Oh, my that's, gosh. We should do that again. Let's do one. Okay, for all, all right. time's sake, we're going to do a time's Spot sake, the Difference. We're going to do one more so Spot the Difference. We are going to cover the lens, so that is not a technical difficulty. Stay, 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 stay tuned. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, right? <laughs> we're right. going to cover the, the thing while we make our change, and you try to tell us what's what different. Difference. Okay, here we go. All right. What else was I going to do? Your eyes. It's okay. Oh, just no, no, whip out. Okay, okay, don't hang. Don't don't, don't go away don't anywhere. Go. This is not a commercial break. Uh, yes, don't go away anywhere. We're just gonna see if you can spot All the difference. All right. See if you guys are um, paying attention. Okay, Michelle. Are we ready? Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> spot the difference. <laughs> Do you like my eyes? I'm, I'm having oh my a little God. bit of a hard time seeing out of them. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh that's so different. It's getting kind of sweaty, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but that, yeah, okay. And my difference is my granddaughter, Nadia, made this beautiful necklace, so I want to put it on. It's beautiful. my hat here. So, anyway, that was our Spot the Difference game. We had a lot of fun yeah, with that. Yeah, that was fun. Yes. That was fun. And in our lesson, we would always talk about, can people spot the difference when we become believers in Jesus from yeah. the way that we used to be or even from the way the world is. Yeah, we don't want to, if you're acting just like the world is acting, then I have to question if Jesus has really started changing your life. And that's mm -hmm. something we need to get, get in a God closet and be like, all right, God, there needs to be something different about me. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, and in his mercy and grace, he, he takes us as we are at our worst, which we just talked mm -hmm. about, and he trans us, transforms us. He does. By the renewing of his word in our mind, we're transformed in our mind according to his word, and then our actions and hearts follow. That's right. Yeah, That's so, awesome. Anyway, but you know what? Um, what do you want to do now? Do you want to maybe do well, this, or you want to? You know what? Let's wait a little bit. Okay. We'll wait till the end on like all the fancy prizes, but I do want to make a few quick announcements. Um, we are going to be starting Kids Church back up at Sacred Fire Church in Bellevue next Wednesday, a week from today. I'm so excited to get back to our regular. Um, being able, you know what I miss the most? I really miss prayer time at the altars. Yeah, I miss that. And you kids that are that just go to the altars and just seek God and pray for your families. And man, I just uh -huh. you guys just like, I love that. And I really have missed that. I can't wait to get back to that. I know that's gonna be awesome. Um, also, our first week back within the next week, we're gonna be putting together our angel tree forms for those of you. Um, if your parents would like a little bit of extra help for Christmas this year. We have a lot of people who enjoy picking a name and blessing a kid. So we'll be uh, working on those forms quick. Make sure that you get with us if you guys need a little bit of help at Christmas time. And we'll get your name on that list. That would be awesome. Um, also, I'm actually really excited about this. I don't know how many of you were able to be a part, but last year we did the first one we've ever done like this, but we did a formal Thanksgiving dinner together. And we I had remember. tablecloths and cloth napkins. I mean, it was look. It looked so nice. Yes. And so, and we just talked a little bit. We enjoyed a great Thanksgiving meal together, and talked a little bit about table manners and mm -hmm. and stuff. Because you know, if you um, if you are one of those people that has never really been taught table manners, you don't even know it. But everyone who has been taught table manners is like, oh my goodness. Yeah. And so we want to make sure that there may be a time. I'll tell you what, some of you guys might grow up, uh, grow up and become, you know, people of, of influence that have to go to banquets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you may be able to have a voice to speak to that segment of our society. And uh, I want you guys to really be prepared for that. And uh, some of you may speak before kings. I, I always tell my kids when I correct their grammar, I'm like, guys, I'm not being mean, but one day you might speak before kings. And we want them to be able to really receive from us. So we're going to just go over some real basic table manners and just have a really fun and beautiful Thanksgiving dinner mm -hmm, together. Mm -hmm. So that will be on um, November 18th. So next Wednesday is our first kids church. The very next Wednesday is our Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. Now that is going to be by invitation only. You can't just show up to that one. So if you want to come to the Thanksgiving dinner, talk to me and let's see if we can get you on our list. All right. Cause we're going to have to start a little bit small as we're starting back up. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Oh yeah, last announcement. Freeze. Sorry, couldn't resist. All right. <laughs> this is like so not flattering. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> our last announcement is a Christmas extravaganza uh, where you get to go shopping. You guys remember the one rule? Cannot shop. For who? For who? For you. Yep, can't shop for yourself. You can shop for me. No, I'm just right. ready. You can shop for me. Freeze. <laughs> I want to freeze on purpose. Yeah. No, I just claim. But you can shop for your family, your friends, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, for any um, adults out there that are, are watching today, start sending in your extravaganza stuff. It doesn't have to be brand new. You can be brand new. You can go, you know, wipe out a, a Dollar General with a bunch of gifts or something like that and donate brand new stuff. Or you can donate um, just your gently used items that will still make great re-gifts. Mm -hmm. So, and then our kids get to go shopping. So it's yes. really fun. Really and fun. volunteers come in and they wrap the gifts so beautiful. Yeah, we're just, gonna need gift wrappers, guys. Yes, Lots yes. of them. And it really blesses the kids and blesses the families. So yeah, it, is it a wonderful really time. does. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so don't forget a lot of fun stuff coming mm -hmm. up. But for now, guys, it is time to get into the very last lesson mm -hmm. from our Action Bibles. And uh, as we get to the end, in the end of the Bible, 
the very, very last book is called Revelation. You guys are going to be like crazy when you see those pictures of, of the author's rendition and what he thinks it's going to be like in the end times. Uh, but before we get there, there's a whole lot of letters that people wrote to each other. And it's, and it's learning how to walk this thing out. I want to follow Christ. What does that look like? How do I do that? So there's a lot of letters that walk us through that. So in your Action Bibles, on page 740, it says the final letters. So what we're going to do, there's a whole bunch of them there. We're just going to read a couple of them because uh, you know we just don't have the time for all of them right now. But we're going to go down to the middle of the page, and I'm going to do the book of James. It's one of my favorite books. It's only like five chapters. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's a really fun one to read if you haven't really read the Bible before, and you're not really, you know, whatever. It'll definitely keep your attention. James is, it shoots straight, though. Look out. Yes. All right, here we go. The book of James. The leader of the church in Jerusalem, James, the brother of Jesus, wrote a letter to encourage Christians to live in the ways that show their faith. Yes, 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 he says... Yes. Faith is meaningless unless you do something with it. Hmm. Take care of the helpless. Ask God for wisdom. Keep your lives pure from the muck that surrounds you. Then your prayers will be powerful and change the world. I like James. He yes. shoots. I, I like that one. Hey, why don't you take First Peter right underneath that? Okay. Peter wrote to encourage the Christians who were being persecuted. Mm. Like Paul, he was also executed by the Romans. Wow. And this is what he wrote in his first letter. Face your hardships bravely. God chose you to be his royal priesthood and his holy nation. Even though the devil prowls around like a lion to destroy you, stand firm. That's pretty cool when you think that he wrote that. And then he ended up actually being killed and martyred for his faith. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. He didn't just say those words. He lived those right. words. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he could have been writing that to himself. He could have been. He, he probably remembered what he wrote or what he told. Yeah, it might have. Yep, I bet you're yeah. right. Hey, let's go over to the next page, and we're going to go to the middle one that says the book of First John. And this is, this is John writing. He says, God is pure light. Mm. Anyone who denies the truth of Jesus walks in darkness. Mm -hmm. If we pretend that we've never sinned, we're only lying to ourselves. But, I love this, if we admit our sins, God forgives us and cleanses us. Mm -hmm. My friends, make sure you so show love to each other. Why? Because love comes from God. And by loving others, we know God even better. Another great wow. book. I know. And when you think about loving, it's the foundation of everything he says. He mm -hmm. says, uh, he was talking about all the gifts that he gave out, and he says, but you need love. Everything yeah. else is nothing without love. Yeah, you know, they say um, tradition, not the Bible specifically, but although the Bible kind of really does say it, but they say about John that as he got older in his life, that they would call him up to like speak to the church. He was a pretty old man. He's the only disciple that was not martyred for mm -hmm, his faith. He mm -hmm. lived to an old age. Yep. But he would get up in front of the church as an old man, and they'd be like, what do you have to say? And he'd be like, love each other. Love each other. Wow. And that would be his whole sermon in two words. Yep. And a powerful sermon, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why don't you do the one at the very bottom, the book of Jude? Oh. Do that one in the corner right there. Alrighty. So Jude was another brother of Jesus, who wrote to defend truth against false teachers. Ooh. The book of Jude. Dear friends, you must defend our Christian faith. Build up your faith and pray with the help of the Holy Spirit. Have mercy for those who doubt so you can save them from the fire of fear. Oh, I like and that. the fire of hell, too. Yeah, Jude, I think it's only one chapter. I mean, yes. It's not a very long book at all. It's actually only one chapter. Right. But um, he shoots really straight, too. And he's like, hey, guys, listen, live it out. There's people going to hell. Don't be one of them. Mm -hmm, <laughs> Save mm -hmm, them. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's pretty pretty basic, but yes. straight shooter. Yes. I love it. Yes. All right, guys, let's go ahead and turn our page to see some of the craziest, probably, illustrations in the whole Bible. I don't know. When I look at that, I'm immediately drawn to that crazy um, red-headed dragon. And then I see, you know, the guy on the white horse coming toward him. Actually, the Bible talks about that being Jesus. Pretty cool stuff. Mm. So, I mean, this is the artist rendition. 
meaning that this is what the artist, when he reads the story, this is what's in his head. We don't know what it's really going to look like, but let's go ahead and read. The book of Revelation is the last book of the Bible, and it talks a lot about the end times and what's going to be happening at the end of this world as we know it. And so um, it's really important that, that we give a good look to this. So let's go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take the narrative? Okay. Actually, there's a lot of narrative. Well, you're going to have most of it. Well, do you want uh, to nope. maybe take turns? No, nope, go for no. it. I got this. I'll, I'll take the God at the bottom and the God at the okay. top. All righty. So the final day is based on the book of Revelation. And this is a vision that um, Jesus gave to John. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same guy that wrote First John we were just yeah. talking about. Yeah. Many years have passed since Jesus came back to life and rose up to heaven. Paul and Peter have died doing the work of the Lord. John, Jesus' beloved disciple and friend, is the last apostle left. Jesus visits him in one final vision where he reveals what will happen at the end of time. Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last who lives forever and ever. And I hold the keys to death and hell. Wow. That's encouraging. Yeah. I yeah. would rather he hold them than anyone else. That's for sure. Oh, whew. Yeah. So in the end days, four horsemen will ride forth. First, a conqueror on a white horse. Mm -hmm. Then war riding on a red horse. Third will come famine on a black horse. And finally, death will come forth on a pale horse with hell following close behind him. Wow, I mean, this is gonna be crazy stuff, guys. We've never seen anything mm -mm. like what this is talking mm -mm. about. It's gonna be bad stuff. You wanna make sure you're right with God before all this stuff hits. Really? Go ahead. As the four horsemen ride through the sky, an earthquake shakes the land. The sun turns black and the moon turns red and the stars in the sky fall to the earth. Many people are killed by war, Plagues, famine, even by wild animals. Crazy. Wow. Crazy. The, whole world, the whole world is going to go crazy. The whole right? world is going to go crazy. Yes. It is. And yes. for those of us who are in Christ, we don't fear the way other people will because we know that this is God's told us what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And we have faith and we have trust in him that he's got us, even in the midst of, of craziness. Of all this stuff. Yeah. Yes. Okay. After the four horsemen finish bringing their suffering to the earth, the devil will come in the form of a red dragon. He will perform miracles, raining fire down from heaven. The people will be deceived and worship him. Uh-oh, bad idea. I know. And that word deceived means they're going to be tricked. They're going to be yeah. believe a lie. They're going to think they're actually doing the right thing. Right. A lot of people. That's a scary thing about being deceived. Mm -hmm. As you think it's all good, but it's not. Right. But you think it's all good, but it's not. That's right. <laughs> Deception is tricky. And you know what? He, the, the scripture even tells us, for the sake of the elect, that we're not deceived, Jesus is going to come quick, quicker even. because mm -hmm. So that makes it sound to me, Miss Shannon, that it's going to be so uh, realistic and so believable that even the church might start to believe this stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we're going to have to be really, are, really yes. cautious and listening to the Holy right. Spirit and knowing the Word of God ourselves. Right. Exactly. Or we could be deceived. I mean, yeah. we're fools to think that we won't be deceived. Right. If we aren't staying in His Word and in His Spirit. Absolutely. We need to know what's real so we know what's false. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead. Oh, here's the white horse. Okay. I love it. And I can't even stand looking at that picture of that Oof. nasty old dragon. Really. Ugh. I sure like Jesus coming after him. Oh, though. for sure. So Jesus will seize that ancient dragon, the devil, and lock him in the pit of fire for a thousand years. I am. Why don't you hit that one right at the top there, too, at oh, the white yes. horse? Okay. Yep, no worries. All right, I missed this one. Before that happens, but Jesus, when all seems lost, the heavens will open wide. Jesus, who is faithful and true, will ride forth on his white horse of justice. The armies and angels of heaven will follow close behind him. Woo -woo. Mm. I love that. Mm. And then at the very bottom, now this is beautiful. This is an awesome contrast to that horrible devil. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. for sure. It says, then God and his lamb, Jesus, will rule in the heavenly city. The river of the water of life flows through the streets, and the tree of life heals all the people. There will be no more sin and no more night, and God will reign forever and ever. I love this song. 
There is a river whose streams make glad the city of our God. It came and it healed me. It came and it filled me. It came and it washed my sins away. And I will rejoice. I love it. I will rejoice. Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. And be glad. I love, oh, I love, I that, love song. that song. too. It just reminds us of what's coming mm -hmm. and to not be discouraged, even in the hard times, even through all the craziness. There is peace and there is freedom and there is beauty at the end. Yes. For those who follow Christ. Yes. You can see at the bottom where, where God is speaking, he says, whoever is thirsty, come. Anyone who wants it, come. Take the free gift of the water of life. That's going to be wow. awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, it is, man. I love this last page. Julie, why don't you take the yellow and the narrative there? Okay, we'll do. Through the prophecy in Revelation, Jesus gives John a message for the seven churches in Asia. Some people at those churches have been faithful followers. Some have turned away from Jesus because it was too hard to follow him. And some just want things to, to be easy. Mm -hmm. Jesus' words to these churches are still relevant to all of us today. Now check out these words because, yeah, this is going to hit some of us. There's always one of these that always hits me every time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a different one in different seasons of my life. But mm -hmm. here's one of the things he says. I know what you've been doing, and it's neither hot nor cold. I wish you'd be one or the other. Because you're lukewarm, like, have you ever, like, taking a drink of water and it's not hot it's not cold it's just kind of or lukewarm lukewarm coffee. or lukewarm coffee oh <laughs> he says because you are lukewarm neither hot nor cold i will spit you out of my mouth you think you're rich you have no idea how poor blind and naked you are and you know what that, w that speaks to us in america we have so much stuff mm -hmm. god's like you know what it's not about your stuff you think you're rich because you look around and you've got so much and he says but man, your spirit, you're just so poor and blind and you don't even know it. And then he says, take the wealth that I give to you and you will be truly rich. Now the wealth that he gives to us is different than money and stuff, which is kind of funny. My kids will say to me, mom, are we rich? I'm like, <laughs> absolutely. We're the richest people I know. Not because of money, but because of God's relationship with us and with the friends and family he's given us mm -hmm. and with the like purpose he's given in our lives. Yes, very mm -hmm. rich. Mm -hmm. He says, take the wealth I give you and you will be truly rich. My white clothes will cover your sinful nakedness. The salve or like the, the ointment or the lotion I give you will let you see. And then I want you to listen careful to this little part. You guys ready? He says, here I am. I'm standing at the door and knocking. Anyone who hears my voice and opens the door will share my food and my throne in heaven. Wow. 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 You know what? If you look at that picture, there's somebody that made a famous picture like this one time. And when it was all done, somebody said to him, they said, oh, you know, this is perfect, but you missed one thing. It's like, what did you miss? And they're like, the doorknob. Like, do you see a doorknob? And you know what the artist said? He said, no, he goes, this is a door that only opens from the inside. Hmm. He said, this isn't a door that Jesus is going to force open. He's offering. He wants to come in. But we have to open the door from the inside. Mm. And it's something we have to choose to let him in. It's not something he just comes in. It's something that we let him in. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead with the yellow there. All right. So John's vision ends the Bible, the greatest story ever told. Mm. Wow. Jesus stands at the door and knocks. Will you let him in? And you know what, guys? We're going to close out our whole Action Bible today with that question. Guys... Some of y'all have been watching with us from the very beginning. We've gone through the entire Bible, the awesome stories of God's love for us and his desire to rescue us and to send a Savior who can free us from sin, something we can never get away from on our own. And he's offering to be a father to us. And he sent his son. He's knocking on the door saying, will you let me in? Will you follow me? You know, will you turn to me instead of to the world? Will you come to me? and follow me and let me take you to eternal life you know and so that is a question for every one of us today and it's not just a matter of saying yeah i say yes and then living how we want you know we just read in james he's like dude if you don't 
you know, change your life. It's not just about saying words. It's about saying, God, I'm going to choose to follow you. I'm going to trust you and your decisions even when I don't always understand them. Mm -hmm. And when your word tells me to do something, I'm not going to argue with it. I want to follow you. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus is standing at our door today and knocking. And he's saying, guys, will you let me in? Will you follow me? Will you live my way and, and have eternal life? And that is just hard for every one of us. Amen. That's right. Hey, Julie, why don't you just walk us through a prayer? You know, for those who might be listening today and you're like, you know what? I do want to be his. I've, mm -hmm. I've been listening and I do want to be his. And I want to be different than the world around me. I don't want to live by their same standards. I, I want to go after God. I want my heart to be his. And I want his favor and his smile on me. Would you just pray sure. for those who would like to do that today? Sure. And this is for all the adults that are listening also. Mm -hmm. This is also an invitation for you. And, um, Father God, we just come before you, Lord. I thank you for everybody listening. And you say that today, if you hear my voice, do not harden your heart, for today is a day of salvation. And we come to you just as we are. We don't have to clean ourselves up because you took away our dirtiness and you paid for it on the cross. You, we owe something for the way we rebelled and sinned against you. We, owe, we deserve punishment. And you, I'm sorry, we deserve punishment. And you said, I'm going to take that punishment on myself so that you will be pronounced innocent and you will not have to pay it. That's what being saved, that's what meaning a, a savior is going to do for you. And all we have to do is believe by faith. If we confess with our mouth and believe with our heart, he says that we are saved. So right now, Father, I just, anything that you would bring to somebody's mind about something that they may have to confess to you and repent, which means to say, I'm sorry, I want to change my mind and agree with you. Would you please just give it to him? Just give it to him, the things that you want him to take on the cross so that you will be cleansed and forgiven. Just use your own voice and put it That's out there right. to God. Just, just tell, share. Just tell him, say, please yes. forgive me for whatever he brings to your yes. mind. Yes, yes. And we thank you, Jesus, that you said that you cleanse us and you will remember our sins no more. And I thank you that you give us the Holy Spirit to live in us, to help us to walk this life and to know your word and to learn to pray and to learn one another's because you love one another because you loved us first. So, Father, by, by filling us with your peace, you say that we can know that we are children of God. And that we will not have to feel when you come again in judgment for those who, who rejected you. So I thank you for saving the children and the adults right now that prayed this prayer. This is just a beginning, Lord. We're going to continue walking and growing with you. Help us when we're afraid. Help us when we do our own thing. Draw us back to you, Father, every day of our life. And I pray that everybody would be in the Word, the Bible, to know what is true. And we thank you for it today, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Man, we're just so thankful to have spent this whole Bible time with you. Mm -hmm. What a blessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, and you know what? What's for that? those of you that pray that, the Bible tells us that right now there is a party in heaven. There are angels rejoicing when one lost sheep. One lost child is returned to his father through Jesus Christ. So we celebrate with you also. I wrote a song once called Party in Heaven. Uh, did you really? Aww. So tell me if the floors are rocking now in paradise, then all our inhibition should go. If they're dancing right now in heaven above, we should be dancing in the earth below. Yeah, it was just a fun song. <laughs> I got to pull that one back out. I haven't done that in a long time. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, my party gosh, in awesome. heaven. That's yeah, awesome. for all of those who say, you know what? I'm going to follow Christ. The angels are rejoicing in heaven. Mm, Amen. Mm. That is so cool. Mm. Wow, this is the first day of the beginning of your eternal life in Amen. Christ. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. And let's, you know all what? Right. Let's celebrate that. And we'll just share the gifts that we're going to be giving away yep. um, for our drawing here. All right, yeah. Ms. Julie, show us what we got. All right, real fast, we will show you. We kind of had a fall theme, so here's a nice, cozy little blanket to cuddle up with nice at fall night. Nice colors. Yes. Nice. All right, and we got some caramel corn. Mm. You guys do not even know how hard it was to keep this the whole month in my, I keep it in my bedroom. <laughs> 
and you know Somebody what? Somebody go make me some popcorn. Really? Yeah. You know, this better be a long movie you're watching, right? Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. Or a lot of us. Yeah, a lot of us. Share, share, <laughs> right? Okay, and how about you tell us about this, Miss Shannon, our oh, ball? Oh, yeah, I've got a fancy smancy soccer ball. It looks really cool. It's actually got some really cool colors. I know we got a lot of soccer fans. Oh. Soccer's a nice fall game. Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. And then we, we got some really pretty, colorful hair bands. Those are really pretty. Yeah, they are. And, you know, if, for those of you who are a little more rascally, I love when she used to use that in kids' church, you can use it as a whatever, what, a boomerang or a, no, a slingshot. I was thinking, like, to shoot your sister. <laughs> but yeah you didn't hear it from us though nope so anyway you can use you can use this for your hair or other things you you, you know use your imagination and if a boy wins it they can use it for a christmas gift for their sister oh there I mean, you go that's she right will love you forever she already loves you forever, oh my but. gosh and then what do we have here i love the uno attack game this one's going to be fun some family's going to really enjoy this game this will be a fun one to play with all your brothers and sisters and maybe even rope in your adults uh-huh Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. And you know what? We were talking I about... I don't remember this we were remin in the pack. I know. We were reminiscing. We were thinking back about our times together on Kids Church. And I thought... Remember the episode when we had ah. the Takis? And I know how to pronounce it now. Remember yeah, when... Yeah. Julie didn't even know how to pronounce them. She right, never right. even had tasted them before. That's right. So we thought we would throw in, for old times' sake, just a bag of Takis, Miss Shannon. What so do you, you think wanna, about that? you want to, like, put this into the giveaway? I do, yeah. What, what, what are you doing? What are you well, doing? Well, there's kind of a... Pro you can't really give away something that's already been uh, open though I mean if it's already been open no, I mean she's not oh oh she didn't yes I did oh my I can't even I can't I'm speechless. sorry guys I would we can't really put this in the package now it's already open mm, do you think she has to repent for that I'll think about it <laughs> Give me about. Oh my God! Give me about fifteen more minutes. Oh, uh, you know what, Miss Shannon? I forgive you. Thank you. And please enjoy the rest of those. My fingers are going to be so red. <laughs> mm, so good. Oh my God! Well, later, anyway, because right now. So, all right, drum roll. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. You can do better than that. Give me a loud drum roll. All right. Our last drawing for Kids Church. Thank you, audience. We got a live audience. We have a here. live audience. Yes. Today. All right. All right, Miss Julie. And you can read it, Miss Shannon. Who is it? Actually, they can read it. All right. It's Ariana. I can never remember. It's Ariana or Ariana. Very cool. You go, girl. All right, you Ariana. are our winner. And I'll tell you what. I will bring your package to church on Sunday. And we will load you up, girlfriend. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I suggest that you hire a bodyguard between now and then because all that big old family, all your brothers and sisters are going to be after that popcorn. But you know what? You're sure going to enjoy that Uno attack game. Congratulations, baby girl. Congratulations. All right. I don't I'm, even know what to say. I know. I'm so bummed. This is so sad. I know. I know. Our last Kids Church Mobile ever. Oh, I, I was going to say text me. The word of the day, we're going to let the word of the day be last day. Actually, the words of the day, too. Last, last day. day. Last day. Last day. But you know what? It's so for sad. those. Yep. But we're going to live eternally, don't forget. Mm -hmm. And so. Yep. And the cool thing is you can always go back. I mean, when you're looking at your action Bible and you want somebody to read it to you, mm -hmm. just go back and find that story. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can enjoy times with me and Julie again. And uh, we'll enjoy it. Obviously, the prize packs will already have given, you know, been given away. But you can enjoy the stories with us in the reading. We would love to share that time with you again. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. Again. Absolutely. And again. Absolutely. And again. In and fact, again. just for fun, you can send me your bonus words whenever you watch an old archive. Just send me, just say the bonus word is, and then whatever you watch. And it'll just warm our hearts uh, to know well, it will. that you guys are going back and watching again. Yes. And we hope to see you all um, Wednesday night at Kids Church. You want to tell Woo. other people that might be viewing us that are living in the area yep, where if our we church have, is? Uh, anybody else um, that lives like in Central Florida, uh, right in the Cal Ocala area, Marion County, um, we're at, in Bellevue on uh, Highway 301. It's called Sacred Fire Church. And uh, just text me at 352-789-4115. And I'll give you more uh, more explicit directions. But we're going to be starting at 6 p.m. on Wednesday nights again. We'll be having a hot meal together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our volunteers are stepping back up in that mm. area. We're going to be able to have hot meals every week. And then uh, we have our lesson time together, game time together, worship time together. It's going to be yes, awesome. Yes. I'm so looking forward to seeing you guys in person again. I agree. 
All right. All we right. will see you then. We love you. God bless you love all. Love you. Blessings.